All right, guys, welcome back to um, the channel. So, you know, one of the things I've been watching today is um, the Enrique Tarrio um, trial. I'm just really anxiously waiting to see what it is, how many years that they give him, right? Because, you know, they I think prosecutors had asked for 33 years, which would by far be uh, the longest sentence, you know. Um, you know, the Rhodes, uh, Oath Keepers founder, 18 years. Biggs, uh, the uh, lieutenant for the Proud Boys, um, 17 years. Others have been getting, you know, 10 years. And so, you know, they're expecting, you know, something big. So um, obviously there's no live coverage from what I'm getting, but I am following uh, live updates <clears throat> um, online uh, via The Guardian. So basically this is, um, these are... Uh, comments made by Enrique Tarrio, okay, because obviously, you know, they're going to give him his, his day in court to get up and speak and say what he wants, okay, but again, you know, these guys come out rough and these guys come out tough and they want to overtake the government and they want to end LGBTQIA and they want to do all this stuff, right, but once they get caught, you know, their story changes, their tune changes, you know, they, you know, they're, they're not the tough guys that, that they were before and that just goes to show that you know, in, in, in the beginning of all of this, you know, it's just, it's, it's a mob group mentality. You know, these guys cannot stand on their own. And even if they do, they resort to aggression and violence first. Because one, they don't have the mental capacity to debate. Okay, they, they, they can't sit there and talk about the actual issues. Supremacy has become a huge thing. Immigration, obviously, they want every, you know, anything other than white out of town out of the country anything other than heterosexual out of town out of the country so <clears throat> this is the issue that we're obviously facing is is that these guys have to form a mob you know to push you know just like this nazi uh this nazi movement all those guys that um that, that stood out in front of disneyland the other day you know shame on them you know i mean they're they're you know sorry about that they're you know they're furthering the you know, they're furthering the narrative, you know, and, and that's what they want. But again, when they get caught, they're not as tough. They're not the tough guys that they think that they are, you know. So let's see. <clears throat> so 47 minutes ago in court, Enrique Tarrio speaks out. I want to express how sorry I am for the events that occurred January 6th. He criticizes those who call police traitors and says he credits officers for their bravery. Tario says at first he was concerned for the D.C. Uh, jurors would be biased. Tario says now that he knows that he was the one that was biased. And he says the people of D.C. deserve better. What happened January 6th was a national embarrassment. This, this is Tario, okay? Tario says that on November 3rd something happened he didn't expect. My candidate lost. My candidate lost. Side note. So he admits Trump lost, right? So there again. That goes to his uh, mens rea thought that <clears throat> he already knew he already knew that he lost he already knew that trump lost so he went along with this uh conspiracy uh, and insurrection that trump you know uh started you know that he you know trump's a smart that's one thing you know he's a street smart dude he doesn't say things uh uh explicitly he does it implicitly you know he implies it he he says things he says phrases he says things a certain way which will cause you know which will cause all this bullshit um let's see what else uh regardless of who is to blame i blame myself you know and then let's see what else uh kelly the judge who was a trump appointee okay trump appointee judge kelly he began his portion by saying that the day broke uh, that that day broke our previously unbroken tradition of peacefully transferring power he says that previously unbroken tradition is now is, is broken now and it's going to take time and effort to fix it I do not think what happened that day was acceptable, Tario says. His voice is, is, is now husky with emotion. He is sniffing, sniffling uh, occasionally. Uh, he's uh, not quite breaking up, but he's uh, beginning to sound like he's about to choke up. He, uh, as he concludes remarks, Tario has appeared to choke up a bit. So too did his Proud Boys co-defendants last week. So <clears throat> here we go. Like I said, you know, these are all tough guys, you know, that have to show aggression and force to prove a point again they don't know how to debate they don't have the mental capacity to debate they don't have the education to debate they don't have what it takes to give a um constructive and um objective objective uh even train of thought they can't 
you know, and as I said, it's a group mentality. They have to resort to um, to a pack mob mentality because that's the way they feel it, the only way they can get their, their word across. Now, if these guys were really as tough and as smart, you know, um, you know, they'd sit down and they, they would maybe debate with somebody, you know. Um, and one of the interviews with Biggs um, was saying that, you know, have to use force. Force has to be used now to do it. No. Again, what I've said before is, is that, you know, unfortunately, fortunately, who knows, whatever, is just a matter of evolution. The, who was the majority of the European Americans, the whites, the Christian nationalists are now the minority. And you're going to continue to be the minority. And I'm not saying that in a bad way. It's because, you know, through evolution, those, you know, that are of Hispanic, Asian, African American, all that. You know, there's more interracial marriages, which I know is one of the things that you all can't stand, which is one of the things that you're fighting against. But these are the things that you cannot stop. These are the things that you cannot prevent. These, this is evolution. This is, this is going to happen. This is what's going to be. You know, and again, you know, when you you think about what these Christian nationalists are trying to do, you know, they're trying to. Uh, manipulate the Bible and you know and its and its meanings and its teachings you know for their own for their own benefit you know they're trying to scare a population and a community with the Bible you know again you see they have no credible backup they have no credible means of uh, conversation or they can't they can't think on their own <clears throat> you know this white Christian nationalism movement you know that's gaining traction um, is um is is the next biggest issue that we're gonna have to deal with you know because unfortunately you know they're pretty good at brainwashing people you know so i just feel that we as a community as a society we have to keep you know an eye out for that you know please keep tabs on your kiddos on your, your partners or anybody that you feel might be following this path you know because this is this is this is why the aggression and violence continues now here's the thing we know for a fact trump's not going to win number two we know for a fact that um you know these groups these mob uh mob pack mentality they talk a lot of you know shit behind a camera you know they don't you know they 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 don't have the strength to come out in front shit at least trump has you know the the gall to come out in front and and talk shit in front of the people but these guys you know behind a camera behind the group and everything mm -mm. you know uh again big man get caught they're you know now in front of a judge uh, they're being held accountable for their actions, and this is what's happening. So everybody else, like Lauren Boebert, Marjorie, you know, Toilet Green, Matt Gates, uh, Jack Smith is coming for all of them, and this is what happens. This is what's going to happen. Now, don't don't get me wrong. You know, it's not going to be an easy fight, but Jack Smith knows what he's doing. Ninety seven, ninety seven percent prosecution rate, and he's used to prosecuting international criminals. Trump's not that smart. He's nowhere the level of being an international criminal. He's just a low level dope you know that uh got caught pushed the envelope and got caught you know who knows maybe he didn't push so far he wouldn't have gotten caught but all these people that followed him that he instructed that he subliminally um in, in, injected you know these thoughts to cause this harm it's all catching up <clears throat> you know and like i said um the um the white christian national movement or even just the supremacy and all these individuals that are behind it Unfortunately, um, you know, you're not going to surpass the minority now, which is, again, it's just Latino, uh, the Hispanic, Mexican, uh, Asian, African-American, all that. You know, it is what it is. You know, we are the minority. We're the majorities now and we're going to get bigger. And I'm not saying that, you know, you have to secede or you have to, you know, give in. No, it's just a matter of coexisting. It's a matter of understanding. It's a matter of using your intellect and, and and understanding that hey you know this is beyond anybody's control because ultimately when you act stupid the law has control the law is in control of of, of your future and what's going to happen so you know i just want to end this by saying hey this guy Tar uh, enrique uh, tario tough dude he was a tough dude talked a lot of tough shit now he's not so tough because he got caught no because he doesn't have a leg to stand on you know so we need to understand that mob pack mentality oh well <laughs>